herzlich willkommen zu Unzensiert, der Gesprächsreise mit freundlicher Unterstützung der Zeitstiftung, in der ich fast jeden Tag auf dem Filmfest einen Regisseur, eine Regisseurin treffe aus einem fernen Land meistens, die uns ein bisschen darüber erzählen, wie es ist, Filme zu drehen in dem Land. Und äh, dieses Mal haben wir das Thema Krise und deswegen ist mein heutiger Gast Pimpaka Tuvia, ganz interessant, denn sie kommt aus Thailand und dreht in Thailand inmitten der ganzen Krisen in diesem Land Filme. Pimpaka, how is it at the very moment to be a filmmaker in Thailand? Um, I think in, in, in Thailand we have a, a kind of a, a two, two way of filmmaking. One is a, you know, like a filmmaker for studio. And the other one is like an independent film scene, which I also a part of that. And we are very quite healthy, you know, because for the studio, uh, they, um, they are about like uh, 40, 48 to 50 film being made. And they have uh, quite gained success in the box office. And, and a lot of people still watch Thai film. And for independent film scene, we have a very a variety of filmmakers. Uh, I mean, and, and you know that the, the top one is the Apichat Pong Vila He uh, won the Palm, Palm Door and he, you know, like popped the way to the Thai independent film cinema. And we also uh, make in the low budget, but, you know, we can do our own distribution. And most of the film, uh, I mean, have been traveling abroad, like in the film festival. So American cinema hasn't taken over the Thailand film scene yet? I think there, there are, but uh, I mean, like, I mean, the American, uh, I think we also have the situation where people love to watch the Hollywood film, but uh, even that, you know, Thai people still like to watch, uh, I, mean, Thai I mean, Thai entertainment film. We have very popular genre, like horror film, action film, and, you know, like a teenage uh, love story, but they're still, you know, like popular, yeah. But you consider yourself part of the independent yes, filmmaking. Yes, yes, uh, We talked a, a little bit about this before. How does it work? You make films and then there's a government system that rates the films. Right, right. We have a, a new law that introduced like a rating system. But I mean, uh, we, we normally, I mean, could make film uh, and, and, and after that if you would like to release the film in cinema you have to uh, send the film to submit the film to the censorship board and they could rate your film. And we have like seven level of rating. Uh, beside the six uh, level of rating, which uh, I mean divided by edges, they have a band rating, which quite, I mean for me is really quite irony, you know. <laughs> you know, because the, the censorship board can ask you to cut the film or ban the film. Yeah, that's that's quite an issue, yeah, and we have a, a, a but, but I mean, a lot of, of filmmakers, they self-censor. They know that, you know, if what kind of film that they could sensitive to the censorship board. Do you also self-censor? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> what, what are the issues that you can't really show in Thai cinema? But I mean, in general, people, we people learn that, you know, we have a three taboos, I mean. You, I mean, the, the, what uh, I mean, like you cannot make a film against the a loyal family. This is a very strict, you know, because we have a, a less majestic law that you cannot, not not even the film, but I mean, even for the media, you can, you know, say anything against the loyal family. This is the uh, one taboo, and the second one is a uh, religions, and the third one is military. I mean, you can make a political film, but you know, if the film uh, shows something against the military, that might be sensitive. So what happens if you shoot that movie and it's shown in an independent cinema, what happens? You mean due to the censorship? Mm -hmm. I, mean, uh, I mean, in general, people try to avoid to express the issue very clearly. They, they, they try to do something like, I mean, like, if they would like to make a film, a political, I mean, against the taboo, you know, they might try a way to play a, play a bit with, with that issue. But even that, you know, there are also some situations where, I mean, we never know what's going to happen after the censorship board found 
it's sensitive. Uh, I, I would say something like, for example, uh, Apichat Pong Vila Setakun, he made the film called Syndrome and Century, which, I mean, uh, in general, we, we found is really nothing against this kind of taboo, even, even the film portrayed like a monk in, in, in the film. But when he submitted to the censorship board, uh, the censorship asked him to cut one scene, which, they say, which show a monk play, playing guitar. What's offensive about a monk playing a guitar? Because the sen one of the censorship, uh, he from the uh, religious department, he said, like, you know, the monk could not play, you know, instrument at all because the monk should behave, you know, it's against the monk law. And we, we just found out, you know, and, 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 and beside the monk playing guitar, they also have some scene that uh, the censorship asked Apichat Pong to cut. It's a scene in the hospital. There's a scene, uh, I couldn't remember, but there's several scenes that he, but, but finally he decided to, to cut it. And he make, in, make that scene, uh, which he cut in black. It's like, you know, he did that so statement. Protested. Yeah, like a protest. Yeah. You were also part of a protest, I think it was called the Free Thai Cinema yes. protest? Movement. Movement. Yeah. Yeah. What was that about? I think during that time, uh, 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 because the government uh, decided to have an, an, uh, the film act, which I already told you that they introduced a, a, a rating system with the ban rating. So we did uh, a campaign against that. And I, I and with the, uh, I mean, a lot of uh, independent filmmakers, we did a campaign uh, against that. I did the video, like interview, uh, 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 filmmaker, and and we try to do uh, uh, do a lot of campaign, but you know at the eventually you know it, I mean we can do anything. They still use the the, the band band rating, yeah. So the in Thailand the military is in power. Isn't it dangerous to then protest against such a law? I mean during that time it's not the military government. It's still in uh, I mean in in I could not remember who uh, who is the you know what? Who? But now, I think now it's so strict because we are in the military government. I mean. So are, are protests against the policies no, we, possible? No, we cannot protest because we are in the military government. You cannot do any protest at all. Otherwise, you know, they have a control. Yeah, law control. Yeah. So in a weird way, the situation is quiet because no one can protest. But we still, I mean, discuss, I mean, we have a, like a, a, a I mean, it's, it's it, yeah, we, we, it's, you, we, we feel this, the, like we need uh, freedom of speech, freedom of expression now, so we can do another way, like we discuss, you know, like on the page, on the Facebook, you know, and we try to do something like, you know, uh, not protesting, but we did, like, we done, like, you know, uh, I mean, we, 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 we use a lot of social network, you know, like, it's not protesting, it's like we wrote something that against that, and we share it, you know, in social network. So underground on the social network, yes. you Yeah, mostly pe it. people, people done that, you know. Even, even for the underground people who are against the taboo, they, they done that all the time, yeah. But you still wouldn't, you wouldn't consider yourself a political filmmaker, correct? Yeah, I'm. I don't think I'm a political filmmaker, but you know, I mean, you living like me, you know, I'm living in the unstable political situation for a long time, and you know, I got a lot of impact on that, and that's why you know when I, because it's like if you if you feel something, sometimes you write about that, you know, but for me, you know, I feel frustrated about the situation. I mean, in terms of, you know, unstable and people divided in two group, and that's why I make film because I think making film is uh, the way that I can, you know, like uh, to show my to ch to to reflect, you know, what I think about the situation in Thailand, and you know whether it's like it or not, it be part. I'm part of the society. I'm part of the unstable situation. 
So I'm, yeah, that's why my film, you know, I mean, related to something that you call political. Yeah. But you've, you've made a documentary called Truth Be Told, where you showcase yeah. a political activist, and you once said in an interview, she's, an, she's a political activist, but I'm not. But what's the difference between you making political films and her speaking up publicly? I made that documentary because during that time, you know, it's like her case during that time, I mean, it's a little bit quite controversy. And I mean, nobody would like to, to, to cover about the story. Not even the, the, the filmmaking, but I mean, even for the players, you know, because she fought with the, I mean, the former prime minister. And that's why, you know, I'm interested in this story. So I depict her life and we follow her story. But, but when I did that, you know, nobody know that. Because many people told me you cannot say that you make this story, you depict this girl, you know, you make me depict this story. But that's why, you know, it encouraged me a lot. And I think, I don't feel that she is a political activist, and I, and I make film because she is a political activist. But I found, you know, the story of her as a, I mean, not ordinary woman who just would like to say something. And, and she, and she found the, she got sued because she said something. That's, that's the idea. So you filmed yeah. her in secret? Yeah, we, we have to make in secretly, like for three years. But after she, uh, after they have a chain, big chain of a, a political situation, we can, we can say that we make her, her story. In your current film, which is shown here at the film festival, The Island Funeral, you also filmed in areas and parts of Thailand where it's not stable at the moment. Mm -hmm. Did that affect your filming? Mm, I th it's actually still uh, unstable. And it's also violence, you know, because they have bomb every, every day. It's really dangerous, you know, when we decided to, to shoot there. And, but I, 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 I did a lot of research. I, you know, traveling down there many times and I know people there. What, what area is it? In it's the southernmost part of Thailand where the majority are Muslim. And they quite close to the Malaysia border. And that three provinces, they have a long history, you know. Like uh, they have a, in the old day, they, they are independent stage. It's like a Malay state, independent stage. And uh, the, the situation there is like the insurgency. And, and they have a theory that the insurgency, there are the um, ethnic Muslim people who would like to, to, uh, to, to, uh, to separate, you know, that area to become an uh, independent stage. So uh, I think when we travel there to make a film, it's not that easy because every, every place that we, you know, travel, to every pair that we shot, we have to, sh to shoot it in really quick, quickly as we could, you know. Otherwise, the soldier would come to us and ask us to leave. Because if everything happened to us, you know, they, they might be in trouble. So you used a small crew to be quick? Yes, but it's not, a, we have like 20 people, it's not small. <laughs> because we shoot in 16. And I also brought, uh, you know, like a dolly track, you know. So it's going to be quite, yeah, people would notice that what we do, what we did. And was the whole crew from the very start ready to go into that area? No, they really is scared, you know. I have to do the, I have to ask people in the first place that whether, whether you would like to come along with me or not, because I, I cannot protect you. Even I, you know, make the insurance, but you know, nobody know what's gonna happen because, because we, we, because people who living in Bangkok and living in the center found that area really dangerous. If you saw my film, you will see that, you know, that I create like uh, the climate of fear, you know, in the film because I think, I think that's also the situation where people found, you know, like, 
because it's really far away. And, and I think, and, and just the, I mean, people acknowledge the area is the dangerous place that you cannot, you could not travel. So we, yeah, I have been through uh, a very tough time to get the, uh, uh, a crew that they would like to come with me. Yeah. And it wasn't possible to shoot the scenes somewhere else and pretend it was in the south of... Yeah, uh, we, we did some, but I mean, like, but there is something that, some location that we need to shoot there. Especially in the morgues, in the film, if you saw, it's very really important morgues that we cannot shoot anywhere else. Because, because it's like a... Are only in the south. Yeah, because it's the landmark and it's the, it's the morgues that have a conflict. I mean, like, they have a, a long history of conflict between the, the uh, Muslim, Muslim and the military. Because, uh, like, I mean, in, in 2008, there, have a, a kill, there are some Muslim got killed in the mosques by military. Yeah. So what's more dangerous, the insurgents in the south or the military? Wh which of the groups were you afraid of while you were shooting in the south? I'm afraid of military because, <laughs> to be honest, military is the target of the insurgents. Insurgent. You know, you know, if you've been in in that area, I mean, I mean, we know that who is the target of the insurgency. One is the military, and the other one is the you know police, and 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 the other is like a people in uniform, like official uniform. Because they have, uh, I mean, the, the insurgent in the south, they have, uh, uh, they have the reason why they aim to, 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 I mean, to target this kind of people, because they would like to, you know, the build the situation, you know, like there is, this a fear, happen because you know even the official could be killed, yeah. In, in your film, there's one remarkable scene, I think, which is, or a couple actually, uh, maybe for the audience in the scene, a group of uh, friends, brother and sister and a friend, travel to the south of Thailand and on, on their way, they, they hear in the radio and they see on television that there's insurgencies going on, that there's fighting going on everywhere in the country, but they just skip the channel or they just switch to another station and they don't really seem to care. Is that the situation in Thailand? Is it so normal already, that crisis mode? Yeah, because, I mean, you know, even my film depicting the uh, insurgency in the south of Thailand were, you know, very escalated, but, you know, in the center, we also have an unstable situation, like, more than five years. We have, like, a, a protester I mean, like we have uh, the nation divided, like two group of people, uh, and you know, and we have a, uh, we have a, uh, really, I mean, this situation, you know, if you if you feel you know, you live with that in daily life, you know, you know, like for two or three years, you feel more of that, you know. So that's why, you know, I'm just would like to give the sense of that, you know, like. The violence is not, you know, you can, you, you found the, the south, uh, I mean, a lot. You found the violence in the south, but you also found the violence also in the center, which I think is quite the same. Yeah. And so everyone's just used to it. No one is really surprised anymore when there are violent outbursts. You mean in Bangkok? You in Thailand? Yeah, in Bangkok, but also in the south. I think people, people try to avoid that to go to the south. Because, I mean, if, if there are situations like the, because we have the military crackdown in Bangkok in 2011, people faced this situation, but they knew that. They faced that. But in the south, they have a very few knowledge about that. And, and that's really the most scaling, because they never know who, the insert, who is the insurgent. They, we never know who is the insurgent. The 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 out, 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 outbreak in the south is like a, it just happened every day, but it's just small, thing, you know, and nobody know who 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 done that. So it's uh it's like uh it's that's why it's the most scaling. 
Yeah. And since the military coup, people in Thailand wear two, two types of t-shirts, two, two different colors. What is that about? Yeah, it's, uh, we, we call like, we have a, like a two camp, like one, and which uh, each camp, you know, represent by the color of t-shirt. One is the red T-shirt, and the other one is the yellow T-shirt. The yellow T-shirt represent, uh, I mean, the group of people who are pro, uh, you know, uh, military and uh, royal family, and and actually it's the it's the the people who are against the former prime minister Thaksin Shinawat who out of the coup, and the red T-shirt uh, there is uh, a group of people who pro. Uh, the former prime minister, and most of them are the grassroots people. So it's like they fought for a long time by, you know, they done uh, a, a protester. You know, when the, 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 the administration who from the yellow t-shirt become a government, the red t-shirt went for a protester. When the red t-shirt, you know, the, the representative of the red t-shirt group people become a uh, government. The yellow T-shirt went for the protester. You know, this is a situation. So yeah. if you if you walk on the streets in Bangkok and you would wear a red T-shirt, then everyone would already know which political side you're on. I think I think that's uh, no. It's actually not like that, you know. But I mean, I mean, it's symbolics. It's a symbolics, you know. You it, now, so that people can wear, you know, you know, the yellow or red, you know. But I mean, during that time. You know, they have. Uh, they went for the protester with the, with the, t-shirt, with the red t-shirt or either the yellow t-shirt, like a, the mass protester. Yeah. And your your film does, does uh, talk about the 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 protests in the south, especially, um, but it has been shown on different festivals, also in China, but now apparently. It got banned in China. What is that about? Yeah, I really quite I, because you know actually the island funeral already shown in China before in the uh, Shanghai International Film Festival in in June, and recently uh, there is a, a Silk Road Film Festival in Fuzhou in China uh, invited my film uh, being shown there last month. And then it just suddenly, you know, like a last minute, they just emailed to us and said that, you know, they cannot show my film. And they said that the film was banned. And we were very curious what happened because uh, we actually showed in Shanghai without any, I mean, any problem. And, and, and we asked what is the reason. And the festival emailed to us and said that, you know, the film has uh, contained uh, uh, a ritual ceremony. I mean, because we ha we have my film uh, show uh, Muslim, you know, uh, ritual ceremony, and they say that is a quite sensitive issue, so that's why they have to ban the film. Just the fact that you show uh, rituals in a mosque—that's already offensive. They just say something like that, you know. They not say, uh, I mean, like in detail what which scene, but they say the the film has the ritual ceremony. Which, found, which they found sensitive. But it will, will not be banned in Thailand? No, it will not be banned in Thailand. But you know, it's this thing it happened in, I mean, in somewhere, especially in China. And I just learned that, you know, uh, the, f the censorship board in China, they separated in, in, in province, in each provinces. You can, f you can show the film in Shanghai, but you cannot show the film in Fuzhou, which in the same country, yeah. Is that the same in Thailand, or is it a one central censorship office? Yeah, we have only one central for censorship in Thailand, yeah. And uh, your next film is going to be about what? Actually, uh, I'm working on the new project. Uh, it's, uh, it's a film that uh, I would like to, you know, because I'm living in the, in the society that you, you cannot say something, you know. Maybe you don't understand because you're living in Germany. You not know you can say everything, but in Thailand, you know, there's something that if you say is my sensitive or not, you know, that is the 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 thing that you know in your head every time. So my next project is the thing that you know in in this in this kind of society, you know, 
we can learn the truth or something from the gossip. So the film is about uh, a, a young woman who learned some secret, the general secret from the masu. You know masu is like uh, people who do massage. And it's the film that, you know, uh, it, uh, portray like, portrays so many gossip and so many tales and how you can learn the truth. It sounds like a critical project, but you still got funding from the government. How do you manage to do that? Yeah, I I'm, I'm, I'm did the proposal. Uh, I mean, like, yeah, we, we actually we did the post proposal uh, telling about the, the how, how, we, how we learn the, the, the tale of the, I mean, how, I mean, I wouldn't say that it's, I say, I say something that could, I mean, appeal, like, you know, this is a story about people who are the Masu and you can learn history from, you know, the Masu. So I not say something that is about the censorship. Yeah. And so you're not afraid that afterwards when they see the film, they'll censor it? I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you're making film for a while in Thailand, yeah, you still, f f you know, like I said to you, like, you know, what should I say or what not I say is still in my mind, you know. So this is also the way of, of, of this is the way of, you know, sometimes I have to, to, to think about that when I, I do something. But I mean, I might, I might say, I mean, because I have, haven't made the film yet, but I mean, I try to, to do something like, how could, I, how could I portray this situation through, through the way that, you know, the censorship board cannot feel in that way? You know, you understand? Mm -hmm. It's yeah, a little yeah. bit kind. Uh, no, you, you, yeah. try to, you try to make a film that goes through the censorship, but also for people to see that it's a critical movie. Yeah. And I think yeah. that's the same you yeah. did with The Island Funeral that yeah. is showing tonight at the Film Fest. Everyone should go and see it because it's a great film. Pim Paka, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.